Yeah, hi guys. I hope everybody is, is healthy. Yeah, I'm out here in Missouri. And uh, what I have here for you today, uh, if you've been following my YouTube channel, uh, I helped uh, Ed Seal and Ron Sathoff and Randy Joyner write a, a ebook. And uh, uh, it, it was called From Ben Hogan to Ron to You. Now, both of them have passed away, Ed Seal and Ron Sathoff. And uh, their uh, embedded videos uh aren't aren't linked up so what i did because i uh, actually did a, a dvd that uh, ed didn't want to use i had a a pdf version of, of his book i had all this information i i had legal rights to the uh, fernando cano film uh i i did find the uh the uh, golf pro that mr hogan wrote a handwritten letter my my project was called uh ben hogan's letter lessons and so what now I, I've done is I combined those two books into one book. It's about 140 pages. It's got uh, at least 18 videos. And some of these videos are, are almost like full, full length DVDs that I did. So you're be, uh, you'll be having the text. I've in, I'll have Ed and, uh, and Ronnie's uh, book. And then I'll have, boom, my stuff, you know, put in there. So you're getting two books. You're getting, uh, around 18 to 20 videos. Some of them are complete, uh, a DVD, uh, length. Uh, uh, the ones that I did for, uh, Ed and, and Ron Southoff is that, uh, you would see Mr. Hogan's golf swing. I did the artsy fartsy. I would slow it down. I'd have the images. You'll see images in this book. Uh, now I just did a kind of like an advertisement video and it's just, it's going through the pages. It's, it's quick. I guess you could stop and read the book that way, but you know, why not, you know, for 20 bucks, have your own, uh, you know, uh, uh, book. And then you can click on the links, the videos. You want to see it. You want to think about it. Now it's very, uh, interesting in golf world in the last couple, uh, weeks. There's a gentleman that when he was 17 years old, he went out to see Mr. Hogan practicing on, on the 11th, 11th fairway. This is when Mr. Hogan was, uh, up in years like me and uh uh William, he's another william and I, i'll i'll say his name later on but i'm, I'm going to be you know speaking with him and he wanted to verify he, he had six pages of the letter that you know my book's about uh and and mr hogan says that's correct and mr hogan who loved people he actually had a dog named buster i have this a dog named buster also he uh he had a lot of stuff on his plate. He had to take care of himself. He had to take care of his wife. And, uh, but anyhow, uh, Mr. Hogan tried to explain, uh, the part of the handwritten letter. Uh, the other William did not have the entire letter. And so it's, it's a verification, verification to me that I've spent, uh, I started this like in 2006. I got partial parts of this. And then, uh, I think in 2012, what you're talking about eight or nine years I've, I've been on this. Uh, so this has all been uh, authenticated, all been documented. Now people say, well, uh, there's other people swinging a different way. Well, you can do that. But if you want to understand Mr. Hogan's golf swing and you want to, uh, you know, open the archive to some of this information, this is where you, you would have to go. So I'm, uh, I'm going to just go through this a little bit. And then I gave you, uh, it's like a pro little promo thing and you can glance at it. It's $20. It's, uh, you'll, you'll have a link to PayPal me $20. I will send you the PDF and you can actually send me your golf swing. People are says, wow, you know, uh, Mr. Martin helped me with this golf swing. I, I understand the golf swing. Send me your golf swing. It's just between you and me. So anyhow, let's do this. And then, uh, so I, I do this and this should, uh, I should hit this. There we go. So anyhow, uh, here it is. I'm going to go kind of quick, but, uh, and so, you know, I, I made it, I kind of want to make it like the Hogan mystique and kind of like the Ben Hogan's, uh, five modern fundamentals. So you'll see the, uh, of the, um, of the feeling of it. And it talks about me here. My dad, if you look at him, he looks just like Mr. Hogan when Mr. Hogan was up in years, they both passed away of the same illness. He, he was one tough, uh, individual, Woody. He, uh, he was an orphan. I, I talk about that. But anyhow, you can see uh, the uh, the comparison there of, of Mr. Hogan. 
So real quick, Fernando Cano, this is the, is the father of Pepe Cano. I, I have legal rights to the Fernando Cano film. Here's the introduction, and you can read that. This is, you know, some of this is from Ed's book. Some of this is my book. You're getting two books. So I'm going through this. Here's, I shortened that table of contents, kind of like the five modern fundamentals. So it doesn't, you know, blow you out. But you can click on things and you can find things. I'm not going to do it here, but it's all there for you. Uh, here, let me do this. I don't want to do too much. But here, here's the 20 videos that you can uh, do. Now, I have to find out how I, I, I get back up here. This is the issue. And uh, l let me see. Uh, let's see if I do this, this, this. Okay. Now, see, let me see. Let, I'm going to have to do this. Hold on. I'm sorry. Let, let, let's do this. And I'm, I'm hearing Ed in the background here. Hold on. Okay, so let, let's get back over here. We can do it this way too. And I'm going to go up. Now you can see I had it full screen and I can do that again. But uh, uh, here's here's these 20 videos. So that you can sit down. You can look at the videos first. Take your time. Digest the videos. And, and some of these are 15, 20 minutes long. So let me go back up. You know, thank you for your patience. Let me come back up to where I was. And I was right on here. This is my dad and this is me. So I'm going to view uh, full mode. And so, uh, but anyhow, uh, let's do this together. And I'm going to be reintroducing some of the videos that I did. A lot of times, you know, people like myself put uh, YouTube, 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 and it's people don't have the time. But I'm going to be putting certain ones out. I'm going to be covering this. This is like the homework. You get this. You're following what I'm talking about. You see all the work I did here. You see how in the handwritten letter, Mr. Ogan said the left knee goes to the right knee. And then on the downswing, the right knee goes to the left knee. There's a, there's a, a, a dropping down. Mr. Hogan says that the left shoulder drops. So there's an internal rotation. I did a, 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 a video where you get up in a wall and you get, and you come in un, inside of it. You're, everything's inside the body. Mr. Hogan didn't, at one time, he uh, he got a left-handed club. This is true. He started with a a, uh, a left-handed club, but he played right-handed, and he did cross arm. Now the cross arm is a long left arm. This is his power golf. People uh, get enamored about this position. Mr. Hogan came back into here, so this is uh, you know what I teach, and you can see this uh, in his beautiful golf swing. And uh, and then here, this is a a long video. You go to this, and then Ed and Ron. Uh, Ed Seal had a radio show, and he'd get Ronnie in. Ronnie uh, was assistant pro with, uh, for Jackie Burke at Champions. Maybe some of, of you young people don't know that. But anyhow, he played golf with, with Ben Hogan. He played golf with Jackie Burke. He, he, uh, he played golf with Jimmy Namerit. He's passed away. I had phone conversations with Ron Sathoff. God bless him. He had uh, asthma and COPD. And I'd ask him, I says, Ronnie, did Mr. Hogan feel that he pushed the club back and then somehow, somehow he pushed it forward? He said, that's absolutely true, Billy. That's absolutely correct. You, you, you push the golf club back and then it's a push through and you find the ball with the palm of your right hand. If you push it back and then pull with the butt of the club, you're, you're trying to hit the impact bag, and everybody gets confused of what Hogan uh, meant here. If you can get on the inside figure eight and set here, which you can see here, now you're set to hit. You find the ball with your right side. This is what Mr. Hogan uh, talked about. This is what Jody Vasquez, you know, wrote about in you know afternoons with Hogan. So anyhow, I can talk about this stuff. But anyhow, this is my golf swing. You can, you know, click here. You can see that I have the inside figure eight shaped golf swing. This was in 2012. If you go back six more years. Uh, so this has been, we're in 2020, let's say, or that's 14, 15 years I've been doing this. So I've, I've done my homework. Uh, Mr. Hogan, you know, he did have the cigarettes and uh, George Knudsen. Uh, Ed Seal, I didn't know he did a video about this, but there, I have... Where Ed Seal, either he saw what I was doing or we were both on the same cosmic plane. But he says that this is so important. Mr. Hogan had, he was underneath. A lot of people say where he's flat. Well, he's flat. He'd do this. You see where I'm biting my bicep? He would burn his, his, his shirt and he wouldn't want to do that. So he was definitely inside up and under. 
and this gets your head or your nose. In the, in the handwritten letter, he says the head or nose has to maintain a certain place in the golf swing. So, uh, so anyhow, this is, I'm, I'm giving you some stuff, some stuff here. And this is easier on the back. You see how I'm, I'm up against the ball and I'm level with the Hogan finish. And uh, in the handwritten letter, he talks about Babe Ruth. He, he liked Ted Williams. He loved, uh, he, he saw how Babe Ruth, this is, you know, Babe Ruth, uh, you know, right, uh, you know, right handed. You can see uh, a lot of people say, well, Hogan, uh, he fanned the club and he restricted his hips. If you did that, you'd be in the outer circle. But yet people see that, that sexy line. But yet you see how it, 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 you're, you're pulling. Mr. Hogan reorganized. He was in a, a crazy roller coaster position. People say, what's the difference between a merry-go-round and a roller coaster? Well, I beg to differ. This was a epiphany for myself. I hit 60,000 golf balls at Mid Rivers. I'd go get two 500 buckets. They thought I was nutty. I went under a tree and I was, I'd have my occasional uh, cigar and I looked up and I saw an epiphany. I sensed a, if I was underneath the freeway or at Disneyland where you had roller coasters. This is what Mr. Hoga did. It's an inside figure eight shaped golf swing. People say, well, you're coming over the top. No, it's the inside. And then here, then look at this. You're laying that club head down. Ron and Ed talk about the opening and showering out of the, of, of the face of the golf club. You will see this. And in uh, baseball, they do that. They come in here like this. So anyhow, this is little tidbits of meat I'm putting out there. Now, if this is too much for you, you can change channels. But all of this is here. And I'm, I'm doing a, a drill that Mr. Hogan talks about. And uh, <clears throat> so you can see some, uh, it's the inner circle, the hips, outer circle. I'm going to go a little bit quicker because you probably guys are busy. And, uh, or you can come back to this. But uh, I, I did the look of the uh, Hogan mystique. And uh, so you can enjoy this. And this uh, here's where Ed Seal talks about that. I'm not going to jump back out, but it's right here on a YouTube. He's, he was talking about it. And this kind of freaked me out. This was after he passed away. I, I went to his Twitter page. I went to some of the things that he was doing because I, I wanted to, you know, to see historically, you know, where he was at. He was talking about it. either he saw what I was doing or he understood what I was saying to him. And uh, so he used it. So, but uh, here is the uh, snippets. Now, you know, some of the stuff I did artsy fartsy. Some people say, well, Billy, it's not as uh, high definition. Well, uh, this was in, this is a 1953, 1953. This is uh, Mr. Hogan's triple crown swing. Now, uh, so anyhow, this is, Mr. Hogan did not have a chance to play the PGA. He, people say, well, he didn't do the Tiger or whatever. Well, th there was a, a conflict. There was a conflict. He was in the, you know, during the British Open. He probably could win. Uh, he had his golf swing there. He said that he, uh, his golf swing was intact was where he wanted it in 1953. So this is why it's so important for you guys to look at this stuff. And uh, so anyhow, and so this is me here, the shadow drill. This is uh, is the explanation. You can see how my, and you can see Mr. Hogan's uh, you know, right elbow coming in here, and then it's here and to the front. Everybody wants to get the elbow down to the side, down to the side. You get here, how are you going to push? You're, it, there's a reorganization. There's an understanding of where everything goes. And then you find the ball with your right hand. Jimmy Ballard talks about this. Jimmy Ballard says that the elbows are down. Elbows are down. Mr. Hogan uh, had a thing where he put a club, uh, a long club in the end of the right hip. And he would practice. He says, well, this is my old way, my old way of doing it. Now I want here. I want to get the left arm down. I want everything to turn. And this is, is what Mr. Hogan did. This is the pursuit to perfection. Mr. Hogan had his journey. Some people, even to today, I'm not going to name names. These are historians. Thought Mr. Hogan was a crony. He was a crook. He, he didn't trust people. You couldn't believe Mr. Hogan. Mr. Hogan would spend his time as much as he could with people that wanted to take time to listen to him. And if, if, if you didn't listen to him, You'd go back up and you'd look. Mr. Hogan would, would have been gone. 
he knew he only had a certain amount of time on this world. So anyhow, I hope this is going to help you. So you can see all this, all the work I did here. Uh, this is Ed Seal. You can see that chapter one, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, I'm embedding my work into Ed's work. And we're getting this out here. God bless Ed. But uh, the linking of the arms, this is coming from Ron Saff. He says, that's absolutely true, Billy. It's it's the butt of the club. You take you, you get the butt of the club going inside. Mr. Hogan did that. And, and then there's a shallowing out. But you don't go out and shallow. There's a different people say, well, no, it's the same. Well, I beg to differ. You're going to have to study this. And some people don't want to study. So that's their, their bag. You got to look at this stuff. And this, this is how I set this up. Take your time. Take your time, especially now if we've got shut down. You don't have to uh, take full golf swings. Get a half of a club. I've got the slinger. The slinger, I don't know if you can get it anymore, but the slinger is uh, you, you, uh, you have a little Velcro ball and you practice your release and it hits up into a little uh, uh, net, I guess. Bradley Hughes, Bradley Hughes, such a good, he understands the Hogan golf swing. A little bit different, he aims a little bit to the right and does it where Hogan was set up differently and I explained that. Uh, but look at this. Glenn Ford, Mr. Hogan. Mr. Hogan is standing in a certain place. You see the elbow position. You see what he's doing with Glenn Ford's golf swing. This is what I was doing over here a couple weeks ago. He is in there and he's setting here. Gardner Dickinson asked Mr. Hogan, Ben, what do you think about when you want to hit it straight? Ben said, well, I, I think that I'm setting up for a slice or a fade, then I think draw. And you have to, now you got to sit back, put your coffee down and think about this. You really do. It's not these parallel lines. Everybody gets enamored. Mr. Hogan never did that. The, uh, he came in and I talk about it in my book and the DVD. You come around a circle, right foot, left foot, left foot goes out. The back of the heels and the handwritten letter, the back of the heels go out to the right. Let's just say on full golf swings. But the whole left side is open due to the kicking in the right knee. And, and this gets you this different shape. I, I swear to God, I'd, if I was in the elevator with Tiger Woods, uh, with Gary Player, let's leave Mr. Hogan aside. And I, 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 I said, hey, Tiger, you know, and they say, what's going on, sir? Yeah. And I said, do you know what the inside figure eight is? And he says, no. And I'd say, well, this is what you're doing now. This is what you're doing now. People who watch Tiger Woods' new golf swing, he says it's in his hands. It's in his hand. Golf Digest has, uh, I think, my game, Tiger Woods. And you could see that he's doing that. His left arm is, and I have a video, YouTube. The left arm is underneath his, his left teat. And then his right arm is on top of his left teat. Excuse me, you see what this is? He's getting it. Now, does he understand it? Can he replicate it? Can, will he go off and do something else? Who knows? But this is it. And here's captions here. This is coming. Um, this is coming from my conversations with Ron Sathoff. Anything that you'd see in here. And, and here's me. Now, I don't have a perfect. I didn't have a perfect golf swing, but I have an understandable golf swing. And my my golf swing was changing. I understood things. There's, there's a couple things now I can see where I could I can uh, fine tune. But you can uh, look at what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go through here a little bit, you know, quicker. I uh, I don't want to you know, uh, to overdo it, but it's all here. The invisible club drill. I have drills. Uh, this is my drills. I created this. These are my concepts. I didn't uh, I I didn't steal them from anybody. I didn't pay from any in, anybody. So, uh, but this is coming from this. These information here is what uh, Pat Mahoney and I'll show you the letter down in a minute. This was. Anything you see in italics, this was written uh, by Mr. Hogan, and this was also given to another William uh, uh, when he was 17. I believe this gentleman uh, now, I'm not going to name his, his last name, but uh, we got two Williams, and Ben Hogan is a William too. Go figure. And so chapter two, this Ed stuff, he's talking about the pivot. It's so important. This back view, nobody looks at this. 
the ass view. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, Mr. Hogan was well endowed. He had the hips. He had his hips underneath. Uh, he talked about how the uh, the tennis seat, you, you, you sit down and then there's a curvature. There's not the Adam Scott like in this because then your shoulders are going to go this way. You want it in here. A lot of people, I'm not going to name names, are getting they they've been close to the Hogan golf swing, but they they deviated because once you pump your hands ahead, Gary Player used to do that, boom to boom, and then he'd go out. He talked to Mr. Hogan. Mr. Hogan said, "Gary, I told you the hands are always inside the club head." And it, I think like 20 years ago he figured it out. And then on the clinics, you can see clinics. He says, "You got to do this inside up and under." He's using these terminologies, and this just freaked me out. But uh, uh, anyhow, this is just between you and me. And uh, here's letter. Anything you see, letter lesson. This is coming from me, and you can see how I tell you. I study this stuff. Uh, so uh, this is all, uh, you know, my work, my information. Twenty dollars. It's a PayPal me. You don't have to have PayPal. I, I guess you can put it on a credit card, and I will send you this. You'll you'll have close to twenty videos. You'll have two ebooks. So I'm going through here kind of quick. I'm giving you a lot of meat here, and I hope you appreciate it. I'm talking about the hips control the shoulders. I call the stance that I see what Mr. Hogan did, what George Newton did. Tiger Woods set this set up this uh, this way when he came out on tour. Sam Snead did it. A lot of folks did do it. Larry Nelson uh, did it a little bit differently. But this uh, allows the, the lower body to work. Now, uh, the uh, the new guy... You can watch the son of a bitch from way up in here, but eventually he's going to hurt himself. He's going to hurt his body. I, I, and I <clears throat> That's his bag. If that's what you want to do. But if you want a, a powerful repeating golf swing, as close to the understanding of what Mr. Hogan did, you really got to jump into this and study this stuff. And you can see that the, what I'm doing here. I have a, a, have a master drill, a master concept. Not the David Ledbetter, not the Nick Faldo. Nick Faldo's changed his golf swing. David Ledbetter has the A swing. And the A swing is what I've been teaching. And he's, he's if you, and you look at it, Mr. Mr. Ledbetter's doing this now. He's not doing this. He's doing this. And he's talking about the, curl, the, the, the turning in, uh, the winding in, not pumping out, setting the angle. Ledbetter had long fingers. And, and he would set, he would hook, he would do this. It made it difficult for uh, uh, Nick to, he should have hit the ball 90 yards further, as big as he is. He was so damn accurate with his irons, and he was a winner. He he knew he was a winner because he, he outworked everybody. But there's some things that, uh, you know, could have been changed in his golf swing. I talk about the hybrid stance, and uh, some of this information is from Jackie Burke. Jackie Burke, his dad would say, Jackie, just get the club up at the top and have the end of the club go to the, uh, uh, at the target, and then you fall through around your neck. That is so very close in, in a nutshell. There's some nuances there, but uh, I, I will give you, uh, you know, glimmers of what uh, JB talks about, Mr. Burke. Uh, uh, Hogan came up, came up to Jackie and says, you got to get this. you got to hook up, and you got to hook up. And, and say this, this is what I teach. This is the inside figure eight. Cause you're, you're not, you're not here like the, the Anthony Ra Ravioli. You could put a belt around there. No, that's not, it's, it's not even close to what he did. I'm sorry. You can see what I'm doing here. See what I'm doing here. This is, this is Ed stuff that I did all this work. And uh, then I'm, I, you go back into me. And, and so we just run through here. We run through here. Run through here. Now, I'd spent so much time, so much effort. I looked at every frame of, I think there's eight or nine uh, Fernando Cano films. Now, some, some people are saying, well, Billy, can't you get it in high definition? Well, this is pretty clear. This is as clear as that you probably need. And... Uh, So anyhow, we're getting down to the end of this. Letter lesson in. Now, I use the Hogan name. A lot of people say that's too cheesy. Well, excuse me. H is for the steady head. 
Mr. Hogan was honest. I in my book, the, uh, Ben Hogan's Letter Lessons, I I did his human character virtues. The uh, the journey of the hero, hero's journey, uh, Campbell Thomas Campbell, it is a historic way. All novels and screenplays and that there's a journey. You, you're you're an orphan. My dad was an orphan. We're all kind of orphans in a way, but Mr. Hogan, uh, as the story goes, saw his dad. Uh, Kill himself. Uh, and he was honest with himself. Mr. Hogan was honest with himself about, he hated the hook. He'd throw up. He says, he says to himself, Ben, or maybe William, that I have to fix this. I, I have to do this. And he found a way. His, he was on his path to perfection. H for uh, honesty. O, overcoming obstacles. We're all going to have obstacles. Our whole world is having obstacles now. It's, it's, it's what we do to overcome them. And uh, certainly the 10,000 pound putt, uh, bus hitting you on the left hand side when you're world class golfer was an obstacle that he had to, uh, to go over. I mean, read the whole story about his veins and whatever he did. G, uh, for the proper grip. O is the one piece hand must take away. G for the proper grip. You know, like George Newson would say, it's the, it, it's the proper grip. G for being a gentleman or a gentlewoman. At Shady Oaks, he would greet people with both hands. Mr. Hogan did care for people. He wasn't Arnold Palmer. He wasn't Lee Trevino. He was a damn George Patton. He looked down in his shoe tops walk, walking, and all he did was just have a cigarette and he'd look. And there's a story that one of his playing uh, you know, partners had a hole in one. Hogan didn't even, in his mind, he probably didn't remember, but he wasn't concentrating about it. And they, on the first, on the next tee, they talked about who's up or whatever. So it, you got to understand that H for honesty, O for overcoming op- obstacles, G for being a gentleman, gentlewoman, A attentive, A is the address, the attentive, how you set up. I talk about that. Mr. Hogan didn't want a, a damn zipper. He wanted buttons. If he had to take a leak, uh, he didn't want the damn thing to break. He was attentive. He was spot on. N is in the dirt. It's the, the end, the Hogan finish. Now, Ben, they go, okay, what's the entire thing? It's Ben, beginning to end. Mr. Hogan was golf. I'm sorry. There's people, of course, that are great, but pound for pound, nobody, n- nobody's ever going to reach the pinnacle of, of a sport like Ben Hogan. So anyhow, uh, but I, I have a walking drill. This thing will work you out. I have the golf fan, but you want to just, you want to walk full, you're walking forward, but, but you're moving in space. And this is, see, you, you see this? You, you see this? I'm inside up and under. And, 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 and then you have the follow through. So it's, 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 it's a pivot in how to use the arms. Now there's the, uh, uh, so this is an important. Uh, now this is Ed stuff, uh, drills and misconceptions. This is huge. If, if I click here, this goes to a, uh, a DVD that I did and they talk about the arm position. They have Randy Joyner. They, uh, all these lessons here are here. We're talking about DVDs. You're getting at least two full DVDs here. And here's the summary. Now there's a summary guide that I put at the end because a lot of people would see it and they'd maybe get blown away. Well, I, you know, I'm so sorry. This is going to help you. You you can go to the videos, watch the videos, come back in, go through this and say, okay, cool. Chapter one, I'm learning connection. The inside up and under. The pivot about turning into the right heel, turning into the right heel, the cross lateral shift. And uh, it's, it's an appearance of, of going backwards because he is behind the ball. Ron Sathoff says, Bill, it's not that hard. If you got a tree or if you have a hatchet, you wouldn't launch this way. And I says, well, isn't there, you pretty much just, he says, well, it's not stack and tilt. You you get to the right side, but you're you're flat on that left foot. And then you find the ball with your right hand. You find the ball with your right hand. And here's the commentary. Now, Randy Joyner is is uh, and Ed had a friendship, and uh, Randy is is a golf machine expert. 
So th there's video here. And uh, so anyhow, I'm going to click on through here. Now here's the damn letter. Uh, I talked to the Mahoney's. I, I sat in another, uh, this is my house, but I was in a rental. And I, I had a whole list of Mahoney's because I, I went through a, a my path to the perfection of, of, of my swing and understanding about Ben Hogan. And I found out that it was a Mahoney and a golf. And I had, li I have maybe a hundred. The last one I prayed, I had my golf, my Hogan golf bag. I was down in the basement. And I said, uh, Julie, I'm, uh, you know, pray for me because I, I know Mr. Hogan loved people. And it was, a, it was a grandson. Oh, you found the right, you, you got the right Mahoney, but you need to talk to my dad. He's the judge. Judge Mahoney gave me all this information. This is in Pasu Temple Country Club. You can see it here. Uh, you can see in the 1948. This is so crazy. I didn't give up. You don't give up. Don't give up. If, if you, you sense it and you feel it, you, you'd be stuck on stupid if you just walk away. That's one thing that I don't do. But uh, keep going. I did all this work for you. You can read this. I can read it for you. But you have to take these, take this in pieces. I'm still around. You can email me. Send me your golf swing. So you want to go over this. I'm going through this for you. And you can see this is Mr. Hogan. Did you see what he did here? You see how he he set the golfer in there? This is what Tiger Woods is doing now. Tiger Woods says on his drive driver, he's setting up this way a little bit, and hand cannon, but for his irons, he's setting up and he's setting up this way, like an A-frame. He's not doing this nonsense, the Hank Haney congruent, congruent planes with a weak grip, with a congruent lines. There's no lines. I, I don't even know where a line would be on golf. Jackie Burke says everything's a circle. Your mouth is a circle. Your eyes are a circle. The world's a circle. The golf ball's a circle. You don't think lines that will screw you up. It's all in here. You can see it. Uh, so this is me. That's Ronnie. He's passed away. God bless him. Ed, I didn't know that he was ill. And it was probably a, a bucket list that he'd had. And uh, so that was sad. But I helped him. I, I reached out because I knew he, he wanted some Hogan stuff. And I said, look, I got legal rights to this stuff. Let me help you. And so right now I got the ball and I'm not letting it go. This is Randy. You can get a hold of Randy. And uh, so here's the video index. So anyhow, I've, I've come through this and I, I hope I didn't overpower you. Um, this is powerful. This is the way to uh, to understand Mr. Hogan's golf swing. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, Billy, you, you sound like you're an expert. Well, if you hit 60,000 golf balls and you, and you, you spend since, since I was 18, let's say 20, round it off. That's all, that's like 53 years. I just had 71, 52, or whatever. No, I mean, you're going to get pretty good at it. You might say you're an expert. If you know this much more than anybody else, you're an expert. So anyhow, God bless you. Take care.